What is going on guys? So today we're back with another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, as you can see, we literally are picking up where we just left off, staring at this Gyarados, which we desperately want but cannot get. Oh boy. Um, I have got to get out of the wild area. Very strong looking Steelix. It's, oh man, it's way too high. Okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta get out of the wild, wild area. All right, <clears throat> we we have spent way too much time here. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I've I've got to do it because if not, we're literally just gonna stay here for like ever. So let's actually do a little bit of uh, story. Let's let's try to actually progress a little bit uh, into some new heights, some new things that we haven't seen before. That's not necessarily in the wild area. We will come back. We will be catching all of you guys. Um, I do actually have some plans to possibly do some live streaming of this game. Um, <coughs> aww, very strong. Probably means we can't get it. Unfortunately, literally just one level over. I do plan to do uh, a tiny bit of live streaming um, once we get through the main story. Uh, I would like to live stream and do uh, some, some raid battles with you guys. Okay, so since we technically haven't seen any of this before, can, uh, <laughs> can this be acceptable? I, I'm gonna deem this acceptable. We're gonna be checking for things that we don't have, even though I just ditched a few things that we don't have. Uh, level 36. Unfortunately, that is too high. Really crappy level cap right now, so... Unfortunately, that's just kind of where we sit. So, let's see what level... Level 30. Uh, we can handle that. Uh, I am probably going to one-shot it if we use Pluck, but maybe at level 30 it'll survive. Oh boy, I forgot, do we even have Pokeballs? We do have, okay, we have plenty of Gray Balls. So let's get that. Yes, yes, one more. Thank you. Gossifleur, it looked like there was like a Wulu maybe. Is that a Scropey? Oh my gosh, I, I'm, in love with Drapion. I really, really like Drapion. So, if we could get a hold of a Drapion, I would be ecstatic. Okay, let's try this again. This may be too much, but at level 30, come on. Oh, oh so close. Come on. Literally, like, just get in the ball. Enjoy it. You'll love hanging out with us. I, I tried, guys. I really tried. Poor Corv Squire getting beat to death over here. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we gotta get the Wooloo. Of course. We need the Wooloo. Whatevs. Uh-huh. Let's try this. Decent capture rate, please. Come on. Do your work. Yeah. Woo. I was a little scared there for a second. And let's actually see what is... Uh... Alright, we already have that. We already have that. We already got that, we already got that, we already got that, we already got that. Uh, we don't have this. This is a Siglyph. Can't remember how that's pronounced. Siglyph, yeah. Very strong though, so probably not gonna go our way. 36. Why? Why do you want to be level 36s? Looks like some pretty run-of-the-mill stuff here. Nothing crazy new. Um... We'll uh, keep on trucking here. I don't see anything like, oh man. Oh, I know he's gonna be too powerful. I know he's gonna be too powerful. But we're gonna check. Come, <laughs> come here. All right, Conkledor. What do you got? Conkledur? Is that how it's supposed to be pronounced? Conkledur? <laughs> Level 55? Yeah, we, we can, uh, I don't think we can. We can do that. I'm trying not to get distracted so much. I'm stuck in this like 
super, oh my, oh, dude, it's so crazy. What's up, Inke? Wait, how do you evolve Inke? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I wasn't even paying attention. Does it work though? Yes, it does. In past generations, doesn't Inke evolve by flipping the DS upside down? Does that mean I'm gonna have to have to like pull my switch out and flip it upside down? Uh, we're we're. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All these freaking sweet Pokemon. We gotta we gotta make it to this city, man. I'm I'm itching to see what's going on in this next section, Stony Wilderness. Oh my. Oh my. Gosh, this is literally like the best thing about this game. I'm not even gonna lie. Is that a Mandibuzz? Let's let's do it. Oh, I did not mean to hit that, and that's gonna seriously hinder my abilities here. Come on, come on. Erp. All right, Mandibuzz. Ah, <clears throat> watch level 36. Okay, level 54, a lot worse. So I can pretty much tell that, uh, oh boy, that, uh, oh boy, these, uh, oh my gosh, there is so much stuff to get, but I can't catch like 90% of the stuff. Um, so I know that these basically, uh, okay, I thought these like crazy, um, like, effects coming out of it mean, meant that it was going to be like some insane, I don't know, like super over, oh no, I meant to go to switch Pokemon. This may turn out to be a bad time. So let's see here. Oh, it's a Rookity. I don't need this, but he was like glowing. Why was it glowing? Does that mean I'm gonna get extra watts? Or is he like, some like god tier, look he's got like lightning coming off of him. Is he gonna be like god tier level? Um, I mean at least I'm not gonna be resisted with my damage. But unfortunately I totally meant to switch back into snow run. But definitely miss input <laughs> and started this battle way too early. I'm sorry if I'm if you see me drinking a lot of water. I gotta stay hydrated for one, but I'm also uh, <clears throat> still getting over a little bit of my sickness. Helping hand, yeah, cheer on that Halucha. <laughs> yeah, and you Thunder Punch, that's what I'm talking about. This is gonna be a one turn. Please be a one turn. Max Airstream, doing a ton of damage. Oh boy, I was worried there for a second because I messed it up pretty much, <laughs> but uh, I, I kind of want to catch it just because it, it seems weird. Uh, I really would have liked to use something besides a Pokeball because it is that weird situation. I want to like really make sure that I catch this. Okay. Why? Uh, I'm, I'm scared. Like I'm legit scared right now. I'm confused why it was glowing. We've never seen one glow. Okay, we caught it. Into a Pokeball. Is it just gonna reward me like extra watts or something? Uh, we got Tri Attack, we got plenty of stuff. Um, just run of the mill candies. Okay, what was the, what was the specialty of this thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. I have no idea why that was so special. Now I do have plenty of Dynamax candies, which says it raises their level in a Dynamax battle, which I'm, I'm into, but uh, I don't know exactly what I want to do with those yet. So, ah, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Modestoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Thanks, bruh. Ah, what's up, bead, beady? Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look at the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. 
dude, come on. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have the required gym badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. <clears throat> I'm, uh... I don't know, I just... He's still a weird character. And it's still weird <laughs> that it's a he. <laughs> I, I can't believe. I'm doing it again. You guys see? I'm just... I'm wandering off. Like, oh, I gotta go check over here. Into this city. Let's see what this city's all about. Hop has to be coming, right? Hammerlock. Sounds like such a amazing city. Although it's like black and gold and usually that looks really good but this one looks really weird. It looks like too dark. Okay it suspiciously zoomed in on that tower so I guess that's uh, pretty much where we're going. Is this tower somewhere? Boy oh boy I'd love a different hairstyle. Please give me hair. What do I want to look like today? See what we look like. I'm probably gonna hate the white. I actually like it. It's not that. We look good, boys. Okay, can we go in here? What is this place? You can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Oh, well, yeah. Let's have a, oh. <laughs> it's just this guy. <laughs> I thought we were gonna go in like the back room and, and like do get out or something, but no. He just wants to go right now. Okay. Uh, these are fairy types, and they are quite strong. Uh, we don't really have a lot to go up against the fairies. I'm kind of worried here. Let's uh, let's just try to power through this. Flacky, getting in. No, oh, we are gonna we are gonna lose. We are definitely gonna lose this. Okay, okay, not too bad. Um, drill pack, gonna, gonna still try to take out this one Pokemon as quickly as we possibly can. I don't know if the attract is gonna work here. It's gonna be weird. Ah, it still worked. Nice. And the drill pack should actually finish it off. Hopefully, yes. Okay, we'll take that. Snow Run is getting so close to evolving. I'm super excited. Glalie. For whatever reason, in recent years, has become one of my favorite Pokemon. Ah, pretty typical based on the other one. We, we probably are going to do similar damage here. Yeah, this one may take three turns. Oh boy, that was not hot. It should be enough though. Oh, and I avoided. Nice. So we can just go for the win here. So Magical Leaf should take quite a bit of the health away. Nice, crit works. I like it. I hope that battle was refreshing and smooth for you. Okay, man, that's a little weird. That was a battle as elegant as a cup of Roserade tea. Here's the treat that I promised. A cup of berry juice. 100% uh, pure juice made of berries. It can restore 20 HP. Okay. Aw, oh, sweet! What's up, guys? I'm just gonna stand right in the middle of this battle. Excuse me, you need permission to enter the vault here in Hammerlock. <laughs> moves that only select Pokemon can learn. They are called battle combo moves. Do you want your Pokemon to learn one of them? Okay, so only the starter. All right, I guess we'll we'll teach Thwacky. Um, to be honest, we haven't used knockoff in a long time. Grass Pledge. Okay. A column of grass hits the target. When used with its water equivalent, its power increases and a vast swamp appears. How would I do that though? Would I need to be in like a doubles battle, use them both at the same time, and somehow have another starter like Sobble? Oh, that's the train station. I about got psyched out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this place? You see, there's someone I fancy, and I, I have written them a love letter. Would you deliver it? Of course. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I found someone to help. His name... My name is Paula. Here you are. This is the letter I want you to deliver. Okay. Who who do I deliver it to? A letter entrusted you by a girl to be delivered to a boy. Strangely, it looks old. Frank. 
He's in Balonia. Okay, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, little girl. I have the memory of a dead elephant, so I probably will forget. If I do, I'm very sorry. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bede. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help you solve the problem that you've, that's been bothering you. Right, Chairman? Hold, oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need just more than wishing stars. We'll need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion-endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. Dude, you can't even beat me. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bead, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? I hope you are listening, Atticus. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear this. Hammerlock Stadium doubles that as an energy plant. Okay. Now, have a look at my tablet. Uh, I've got all the information you need on it. I can't read any of that. See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium Tower. Then, it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Okay? Our lives and society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Olena, Oleana, Oleana decides to give me another earful. Atticus, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head towards Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. Yes, sir, we've already been there once today. Atticus, you seem to be doing, seem done. Seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But hop. Did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard loss in battle. He lost the Challenger Bead. That little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast and look at the time. Nearly forgot our meeting with the chairman. That Oleana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Re Ra Raihan, 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 while you're here Atticus. He's the greatest rival I've got and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down that way, on the way to Route 6. And you think the chairman is also down this way? He's literally in the stadium. He ran the opposite direction of where he was supposed to be going. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Ah, right, Atticus. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same though, anyone wanting to challenge the almighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that. Totally already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. Like your spirit, kid. Follow me. I'll even spare you one of my lead cards. You got Rayhan's lead card. Now, on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Okay. Um, there's a little staircase right there, which is weird. Huh. What's up, Sonya? Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries. Oh my god. It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. 
a disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on at a sword and shield that stop the disaster. And the youths being crowned. Hmm. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? There's two heroes. Bang on! The statue at the hotel in Monostoke only had one hero. No matter how you slice it. That's definitely what I was thinking of, Sonya. I will tell you I didn't just guess to make that answer. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero? Or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off of you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm gonna go research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more wins. Okay, so that's literally it. That's it. That's it. This is the vault. Peace, Sonya. Watch her animation as she runs. She's like, dee 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 dee. Best thing ever. Oh. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've gotten any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion Leon. Listen up, Atticus. Your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon. So go on, conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to stow on side. Okay, he like built me up. He was like raring me on. He was like, yeah! I believe we should be ready for Route 6. Uh, but I do want to run back here before we head on to Route 6. I do uh, want to see a couple of more things in the city really fast. Oh my gosh, I don't like the... I don't know. I do not like those. Those are disgusting. So the stadium here in town was pretty freaking huge. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be the stadium for... Uh, Rai Raihan, Rai whatever his name is. So let's go ahead and head to Route 6, but unfortunately it is running a little late in this episode, so we are going to go ahead and try to cut it here. Uh, basically we're going to head to Route 6 in the next episode. Uh, I want to see if Team Yell is still blocking. No, they are not. It looks like it's basically a desert. So this is going to be fun. Before I get into anything though, I know I always do this. Let's go ahead and call it here guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you want to, oops, if you want to join the Discord, it is going to be linked down in the description below. Uh, I did mention that we do plan to do some live streams later. Uh, I may start doing that before I actually air all of the episodes. Uh, I'm, I haven't really decided, uh, but we will see. So by the time you see this, we may already be doing some live streams. If not, it should be coming up really soon. Uh, but anyways, that is actually going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for watching. Always remember that if you want to join the Discord, it is down in the description below. But until our next episode of Pokemon Shield, I feel like I said Sword while ago, that is actually going to be it. And see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, always remember that if you like to like videos, you could do that. But if you don't, you could be that guy. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below about the video. I do highly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to support me in any way, there are several links down in the description for Patreon, uh, joining the community here on YouTube, or even just directly PayPal if that's your thing. I greatly appreciate everyone's name that's on screen as you guys have showed some sort of support outside of just viewing the videos. And I thank you guys, you, you don't understand from the bottom of my heart. So until our next video guys, I will catch you then.